Cameron here with the Cameron team at Coldwell Banker Seacoast Advantage in Wilmington, North Carolina. Had our um, sales meeting this week and one of the topics of conversation was working with real estate agents and making sure that we as agents are explaining that to buyers and sellers when we meet them. Uh, it was I was kind of surprised to, to learn that a lot of um, buyers and sellers aren't don't really understand how agents work in North Carolina. So I just wanted to explain what it is and how it works. Agents in North Carolina and North Carolina can represent buyers and sellers in three different capacities. They can be buyers agents, sellers agents, or dual agents. A buyer's agent is an agent that's representing the buyer. They have an agreement with them. Um, they are working on their behalf to uh, get them the best price, to get them the best terms. Fiduciary duties are to that buyer. Anything they discuss is completely confidential unless the buyer gives them permission to disclose that information. Likewise, a seller's agent is representing the seller, representing the seller's best interest, trying to get them the best price and best terms. They too cannot speak um, of anything that they talk about confidentially with the seller unless the seller gives them permission to do so. Dual agency occurs if there's uh, two agents, a buyer's agent and a seller's agent within the same company that, uh, that are working on the same transaction. Say I have a listing, I work with Coal Banker, another agent in my office has a buyer's agency agreement, they show my listing, they bring me an offer. Our company is on both sides of the transaction, so we are dual agents. We, uh, we still have the fiduciary duties to our sellers, um, as I mentioned before. We are just both with the same company, so Coldwell Banker is on both sides of the transaction. Completely legal, it happens all the time. We just have to make sure that everyone understands and that they're okay with it. True dual agency um, comes into play when a listing agent has a, has a listing agreement with someone, they're a seller's agent, and then they also have a buyer's agency agreement with the buyer and they show and sell their own property. In that instance, they are true dual agents. They are representing both the buyer and the seller at the same time. Again, it's legal in North Carolina to do that. All parties have to be notified of it and agree to let the agent do that in order for that to be okay. Um, if you have any questions about agency or how it works in North Carolina, please give us a call. We're at 910-202-2546 or check us out anytime at thecamerateam.net. Remember to like, share, and comment on Facebook and YouTube to get in on our monthly drawings. Have a great day, everyone.